Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Looks good, submit, done. Two poems down. Cool. Q3, design browser history. So this one, I was just being dumb. Uh, I read this, I was like, okay, that looks pretty straightforward. Uh, I refreshed and three people already got it done. But, but yeah. Uh, but basically now I'm just looking through the constraints and I was like, okay. I Initially, I was like, okay, I'm going to use a stack, but then I'm about to go forward. So then I was like, eh, maybe I want to use two stacks. Would that be too slow? Uh, actually still, I don't know, hmm. it could be, I think I should have just used two stacks still, maybe, uh, because the only, the constraint makes it so that it's fast enough, I want to say, but I wasn't sure at the time. Um, so I was going to do a pointer, but then I thought that you might have to insert in the middle, uh, and I didn't want to maintain the pointer in the correct way, but I end up doing it this way later on. So a little bit of a spoiler. I just made a lot of mental mistakes on this one. Um, namely that uh, maybe I just didn't get enough sleep and I was like, okay. But if I need to append, like you can't append on, on the thing. So so I was just doing like a, like a white stack, except for I did it in a weird way. And I think if I just did wild loops, it probably would have been okay. But I was trying to be too clever. Uh, and instead, it cost me a couple of things. Well, basically, my idea was that, you know, you have two uh, arrays. You have, basically, you have an implicit pointer in the middle. You have to stack on the left. And then, I call it a stack, but it's not really a stack anymore. And then a thing to the right. And then as you move forward and backward, you just kind of, uh, you just kind of, you know, go back and forth. Uh, but I, to be honest, this is really weird because now that I looked at it, there's no way this was right. So I think I was just really, um, and, and for the, and on Lico specifically, it's hard to test these. Well, not hard to test these, but hard to type in the test for these. So that's why, um, I don't know. It's hard to test, and I just had to YOLO a little bit. But that all said, this is just like really wrong. So to be frank, if you're watching this at home later, to, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing now. I mean, in theory, the concept makes sense, but it's not really. Uh, because if you do back twice, it erases stuff. So there's a couple of bugs. I have off by ones, but there's just a couple of bugs in general. This is terrible. Uh, I think I just tried to do an off by one or hope that it was off by one, but um, yeah, this is terrible. Uh, and I, and the worst part is not even that I didn't get it, is that I submitted twice <laughs> so that this problem cost me 23 minutes in total or something like that, which is kind of ridiculous for a Q3. Uh, I mean, people solve the entire contest in 23 minutes, right? So, <laughs> But yeah, now I'm trying to ma uh, just kind of make sure that we don't go beyond the max back and max max for it, uh, which is needed. But uh, and I just wanted and I need to do implement something similar for for it. But um, but yeah, not great. And um, because especially since my future. my future um yeah i don't know <laughs> just looking at this is kind of painful because it wasn't even close and it this is a to be frank this is not a hard problem uh at least for me 
it should not be a hard problem if I want to be, you know, um, well practiced in these things. Uh, but some days you have bad days, so I guess it is what it is. Uh, and if your bad day is that you're still top 200, maybe that's okay. Um, but I think this may be my worst performance in like a couple of months. Wait yeah. This is a little painful to watch. And the other thing is that it's luckily I spot that one, but it's really hard to read this problem. Uh, and debug this problem because of not 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 anything specific to the problem, just like the problem type. Because as you can see, I have to like eyeball all these answers. It doesn't even fit in one screen. I have to like check to see if they're right. And I wasn't thinking about clearly about how to do that because uh, I think I should have just put everything in a notepad or something because then it'll be more obvious whether they're right or not versus doing this eyeball thing, which is kind of silly. Um, Yeah, now I'm debugging, which is always, uh, which is always not good. Uh, after uh, during a contest, you never want to debug during a contest, but you do it because you have to. Yeah, I'm just testing the for it, but in vain because this is not working. But I would also say that, uh, you know, I know that th this problem is only 10 minutes or whatever, and so it's not even like this feels like forever. It feels like forever watching it, that's for mm -hmm. sure. But and I oh, click on submit, I'm like, oh, no. This one. Uh, but I wasn't that confident about this problem to begin with, to be honest. So, uh, so that part is a little sad. Yeah. But what I was going to say is that, um, you know, you're going to struggle. There are a lot of problems, especially when it gets, you know, when you're reaching your limits. It's, you're going to struggle. You're going to, um, you know, run into issues. Uh, and on a, it, this is not as, uh, as high a level, but, but you know. Uh, make sure you grind it out, keep on working hard, keep on going until oh, you, know, you can't anymore. I think that's my only advice. Uh, because, you know, why give up? Well, yeah, now I'm just debugging. I'm thinking about. I'm right now. I'm just thinking about the states, but I, think I missed a bug that I now see or like that I saw, but not while I was coding, obviously, because if I did, you know, it's probably an off by one. This is already wrong with the back. Oh. Mm. Oh, because I. Uh, okay, I'm just being dumb. And now I'm just like, uh, what am I doing? I don't know why I did this one. Yeah, that's just a bit pointed. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm essentially starting over.
and now that I do it this way, I was like, man, to myself, Larry, you, why did you ever even did it the other way? <laughs> When the code, it was really wrong. So I was like, oh. Maybe it was right, I don't, it's hard to tell. Then put it here, Maybe and I was like, oh, this is, uh, this feels wrong. So, no, this should be Facebook. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't. It's, it's hard to tell, but apparently I got this answer wrong, but I, I bought it and I was wrong on my eyeball. Um, oh, I wish Nico tells you the expected answer for just the. Oh, yeah, this is not by one. But I wish Nico told you the expected answer for the, ex the example inputs because it's just hard to tell. And apparently, I get it. Had... Apparently, I had an definitely. issue here, but okay. I just but that's what missed it test. because it's really hard to tell from these oh. long strings whether you're right is or not. This and I was like, when I got Did it, I, I was like, oh, didn't really correct I it? thought I. Check well, this, but you know, clearly, uh, this is what happens when you just wake up. Clearly, I missed it. Yeah, I guess I didn't test it correctly. This is part of the. This is the first back. I mean, it looks mostly right, right? I just missed it in one place, and I was like, oh, I. I. Uh, I forgot one of the test cases, or not test cases, one of the constraints okay. where you clear out the stuff after um, after you visit. Is it decoding? And again, debugging. Pretty painful when you have to do it during a contest. Oh, this is just wrong. Oh my. I'm just not thinking correctly. I thought about this case, but then I was just like, whoops. Uh, okay. Maybe off my one. This is just a silly day. For... Hmm. But yeah, now I'm just looking at the point is I'm like, oh, wait. Yeah, well, I'm off by one there, but in terms of cropping, but then after that, I'm like, oh, go ahead, submit. <laughs> after this, so after really double checking day. it this time. Do -do. Um, but yeah, <sighs> that was very okay. frustrating. If you, it was frustrating for you to watch, it was frustrating for me to do, so. Minutes, but. Q3. Yeah, this one I really should have gotten very quickly. Uh, but I didn't because I, I, I just got stuck in a... Re so the reason why I didn't was that initially I thought... And you probably saw it in the video in any way. So, but just to recap, uh, was just because I thought that there'll be a, a performance issue if we, were, we need to insert stuff in the middle of the array, um, which in retrospect, looking at this, I probably did not need to do it. Or I need to care about that, but but that's what I was worried about, and then, and it's funny because I I don't know because I I got I failed the test case, the example case once for one wrong answer just because I I think I misread one of the answers or something, but but yeah otherwise it's a straightforward problem if you put everything in an array and you just move the array back and forth and that's how you should have done it and you probably could have done it in a couple of minutes but I did it in a silly way because I thought that we have to do some insertions and I'm, and if you do insertion it will be n square but in this case the reason why you don't is because this visit uh, you don't I mean you insert in the middle coin for but then you get to get rid of everything uh, after that so it ends up being that this is only over one roughly depending on how you want to define getting rid of memory, but uh, so yeah, so that makes everything easy and really should have done this in like two minutes or something, but I don't know, sometimes you just get stuck in a wrong idea and I end up spending 13 minutes on this problem and got two wrong answers, so, so it happens, um, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's what I have for this one.
But yeah, this is, I think this is a good interview question though. So definitely practice it in that it is somewhat practical, quote unquote. And they may ask you to design it a little bit more or something like that because this is too easy for an interview. But uh, in terms of like complexity, but it may they may focus more on the designy problem. Uh, yeah, but this is a little bit too easy for Q3. Said the guy who took thirteen minutes or whatever it was, uh, and two wrong answers. But I'm still gonna stand by that. Uh, sometimes you're not. Sometimes.